Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Bruce Fisto's Journey. So, last time, uh, it didn't really end well, did it? I was really pissed off about the lag, but right now I'm in offline mode. I actually have no internet right now, fun fact. Uh, but Bruce Fisto is back to, uh, do whatever it is that we're doing here. I believe our mission is go to the basement and talk to Mr. Glowy Face about why we are even here to start with. <clears throat> it is very hot of a day right now. I am sweating my entire face off and it makes sense because that's how it feels right here in New Vegas. So I'm very much in character. So down in the basement, we will find the fellow ghouls, which unfortunately I can't just kill, because they may be intelligent, but that, that does not mean that they're not trying to, like, start some shit. Now this basement is a, just this insane maze of just going in circles and squares as well. <clears throat> also, since last time, I did not research whether or not the uh, uppercut is better, but it seems... What I did find out was that the uppercut is something that you obtain when you're unarmed is high enough. So, I have a feeling that yes, it is better than your standard punch. Whether or not it uses less uh, pit boy points or if it does more damage is purely a uh, controversial topic, but I'm pretty sure it does do more damage. And you're probably yelling at the screen telling me where to go. Um, you should probably yell a little bit louder because I have no fucking idea. Actually, yeah, I do now. It's down in the... Down in the thingy, right? Does that make any sense? Down in the thingy? There was like a... Opening. And like some stairs, wasn't there? Wasn't I exactly where... I was supposed to go? Oh, and there's a jail key that I've never been in. I am pretty bad at this whole... Uh, exploring this area thing. Luckily, I can steal all these people's clothing. I don't know what the point of this prison area is, to be honest with you. That was a very loud noise. In fact, all of this is pretty much fucking useless. At least I know not to go that way. I know for sure that there was this secret staircase. Like I came down here and there was the jailer. So this is the jail. So these are all the cells. I need to go to uh, the one guy's place. So if that's the jailer, then the other guy big shot it is somewhere totally different. Ah, oh, jeez. We're starting off just glowing with amazing content. I mean, walking around aimlessly. And that is what the people want to see. Um... See, and this is why I was getting so mad about the lag, is because they were running towards where I was supposed to go, and that would have helped me a lot, so I actually knew where I was going. I've already tried to go that way. And I 
don't think it's on the first floor of the basement. I'm gonna use my deductive reasoning. I've tried to go down there like a million times and that's the prison. What I need to do is walk around in circles. Forever. And ever. Food. This is the food place. I have been to the food place. <clears throat> that is the closet. I have went there many times. I suppose I could look at the uh, local map. And it will tell me that I need to go right there. Unfortunately, that does not really mean a lot. But, then again, it might. It could mean, if I follow this map carefully, I might actually go anywhere. Where I'm trying to go is right here. I have to get past that wall. And unfortunately, that wall can't just pass like that. See, the problem with these kind of sonar maps so you don't know where the corridors are. That looks like it could lead through. So if that's a door right there, then I am in luck. So go down to here, and then here, and then here. Wow. <laughs> Amazing. So instead of spending all of that time, I could have simply looked at the fucking map. Alright, look, Bruce Fisto is an idiot, okay? It's not my fault. He got there, though, in the end, and that's what really counts. That and the fact that nobody wants to actually tell Bruce Fisto that he's that dumb, because he'll just fucking uppercut their face right off. So I guess we kind of already spoiled it for ourselves. what's uh, down here. Because we went through without knowing. So we're going to come here and see that there's all these rocket ships. I want you to know that we will remember for all eternity the name of the Lord Jesus Um, so, they're trying to use these rockets. Yes. The rockets will convey us to our promised land in the far beyond. Vision upon vision has confirmed it. Um, I have posted space? only visions upon it, but what I have seen is truly miraculous. It is a place of light and healing. And I know in my soul that my thought would be safe. So there is no way that we can thank you. Yeah, you said that like three times. So what he's trying to do is have all of his little ghoul friends get into these rockets, right? And they're gonna blast off into space and land on the sun? Place of great light? I mean, it's not that bad of an Jason idea. Jason says that I am to cooperate with you on the final tasks necessary to launch the Great Journey. Um. I was close to completing work on the rockets before we were driven into hiding on the top floor. Two components were missing. A quantity of isotope 239 igniting agents 
set of thrust control modules. The igniting agent is highly radioactive. It decays quickly. That's why we can't use the drums that leak down on the launch pad. It's no longer potent enough. I need you to find an intact, shielded container of the igniting agent. As for the thrust control modules, they were custom built for these rockets. We won't even launch without them. Um, Very well. Agent. We don't need a huge amount. Two to three liters should be enough. Give me some Recon tips, maybe. Been ransacked so many times by scavengers, it's hard to know where the components might turn up. If they turn up, Jason has mentioned some industrial ruins to the east that are supposed to be highly radioactive. Right. Um. Now, Fisto isn't the brightest, but he does remember the uh, people of Novak. The uh, big dinosaur guy that had the uh, power fist. He was talking about the uh, little rocket ships. Now, it's unlikely that a little tiny model would have it, but in the Fallout universe, they use radioactive shit all the time. So they might actually have a little bit of the igniting agent. Kind of like if you go to a, uh, like a national reserve where they keep all the money. Uh, you can get like little souvenirs and it's shredded money and that's like a real thing I mean shredded money and isotope 2 million or whatever he said are two different things but is it really that different? so yeah I'm thinking that this could work I mean, it's the Fallout universe. They definitely might have. If not, then I have to go to some ruins that are radioactive. But why the hell would I want to do that? Is my question. Um, okay, so... I think I can find my way out without the map. Because the way out is easy. You just go up. I say that, but nothing's ever as easy as you think it is. But sometimes, there's the rare chance that the exit sign will in fact lead you out of here. Also, I'd like to point out that I thought this was going to be just a simple little, okay, go here and kill some ghouls, but... It just turned into this fucking mess. Oh, a door. Right, I leveled up, didn't I? I got a little bit of lock picking. Ah, shit. That's it, I have to reload. Just kidding. This is a very delicate art. Ooh. What do we have here? A hunting revolver. A safe. A safe that is not very safe. Gotta get that sweet spot. Right there. That's where it is. Bottle cap purified sunset. A pencil and clipboard. Okay, so this wasn't a total waste. I got some shit to sell, at least. And this leads to another door. I mean, it's XP. And I'm all about uh, getting that XP.
You see, what I want is like a hundred lock picking, so Bruce Fisto can just force all of these doors open. Because that's something that he would do. Huh. Wow. And it's the fucking exit. Easy as that. <laughs> You're blue and dead. Okay. So now, all we need to do is one important thing, save. I don't know what that is. Uh, boom, save. I've been playing for five hours, apparently. Now, it says this radioactive waste, but that sounds really fucking dangerous. So let's try Novac and see what we can see. As for the launch control module, I, I don't know what to tell you about that. It's probably like buried and set on fire and shit. Why am I doing? Oh, right. If I do this, then uh, what's his face is going to help me find uh, Benny or Danny or Jimmy, whoever the fuck killed me. Sally. It's probably a fucking Sally. Nobody's here. Actually, did he ever say the guy's name, or am I just fucking having crazy guesses here? Alright, so we're gonna wait for a long time. Four hours. Just take a little nap. Yeah, there's the guy. He wants me to kill the ghouls. Welcome back. Can I get you anything? Uh, souvenir rockets. Ah, like radioactive. We used to give them out on tours of their HQ up in Henderson. But I guess they had to stop after the first few kids thought they were filled with nuka and drank it down. The papers had a name for the condition and everything. Called it the retcon shoots. Those were bad times for Rob. Um. <clears throat> well, they unloaded what they had left on the dino. Attached. That was before my time. Plenty of demand for them, seeing as how they're one of a kind collector's items. But I might still have some in back. All of your souvenirs. I never thought I'd see the day. I mean. The day I bought them for such an incredibly low price, with so many other ones, but, but I like it. I think maybe it's time. All that's left is in the storage room. You can buy the key from my store. Wow. <laughs> sure, sir. So, how much is he selling this for? Something fucking crazy that I should just kill him for? an age idiot. There's all kinds of crazy shit he has. Storeroom key, 114 caps. Also all of these dinosaurs which I kind of want to buy. And any other uh, good shit here? Rocket souvenir. Can't I just buy some rocket souvenirs? Oh well. Yeah sure I'll buy your key. But uh, it's not going to come cheaply to you, actually. Because I'm going to sell you all kinds of, all kinds of shit. <clears throat> I'm going to take all your money, you bitch. Yeah, that's right. Something does got to give. Uh, Power Fist Gunrunner Arsenal. 55 damage. Is that better than mine? Do I just have a normal power fist? Does Bruce Fisto not have the best fist? No, he does. Okay. Just making sure. That gun. What gun? That gun. Yeah. Which, which gun? 
I could do that for hours, actually, just to myself, because I'm talking to myself. But still, um, yeah, yeah, maybe I'll take a stem pack or two. I'll take two stem packs and your key. Thanks, you bitch. Wow. <laughs> look, look at all these. I'm gonna be radiated, like, massively. I'm gonna end up being a fucking super mutant by the end of this. And I don't even need all of these. I'm just taking them compulsively. I'm gonna have to buy some fucking Rad X at the end of this. Also, here's a fun fact about these things. Uh, you can't, like, put them down and display them. It's unfortunate. Steal that gun. I definitely am going to steal that gun. I'm also going to take all these dinosaurs. I mean, he just leaves the gun there. Like, oh yeah. Yeah, it's fine. Cool gun. I'm just going to leave it here. Yeah, I'm fucking robbing this guy right now. Detected. Hidden. Mine. Mine. It's all mine. Ha ha ha. Okay. Still getting radiated, by the way, so if you could just take. I could totally make profit off of this right here. I'll just sell them to people that are like, oh shit, I've never even seen that before. Yeah. Um, now out of curiosity, does he still have all of that stuff? Yeah, he still has a thousand of those and one of those. Does he have that gun still? Could I buy two of those guns? No, he doesn't. I stole it from him forever. Okay. Mission successful. I made away with a total of <clears throat> 278 Dinky T-Rex souvenirs and exactly <clears throat> and exactly 160 rocket souvenirs. Yeah, we're gonna save. Right there. Vagabond. Vagabond. What's that even mean? Whoops, wrong button. That's the self destruct button. Alright, so back to Repcon to go through uh, all this craziness. Also, fun fact, I just realized that I got internet back. So, that means literally nothing to anybody other than the people watching this video right now. Because I'm recording it right now, but you're watching it right now. It's like some kind of weird future paradox where I'm recording it, but you're watching it. <laughs> 